First at noon, though, our coverage of the October storm continues this noontime. National Grid says it is hard at work right now to get power back on to customers who lost it during the storm. Right now, more than 60,000 people still in the dark today. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is working that story. She joins us now live with the latest from the mobile newsroom. Brian, we were just updated by National Grid here in Providence. The utility has been working to get folks back online in the wake of the storm. At this point, they say about half of the customers who had power out in Rhode Island now have power back on. They are prioritizing hospitals, nursing homes, and schools. Most of those schools do have the power back on, but some are still in the dark today. This, of course, after trees and poles were knocked down by the rain and wind overnight Sunday into Monday. National Grid says they had to wait until the wind subsided to do some of the work they needed to get the power back on. That began at noon yesterday, and a spokesperson tells me they expect to have customers in the cities back on by tomorrow and folks in the more rural areas back on by Thursday. Of course, Halloween is tonight. There is the possibility of some dark neighborhoods and wires still down in some spots, so parents and kids should take caution while trick-or-treating. Uh, we're working with the municipalities, you know, if they have word about wires down or potentially dangerous situations, uh, we're making sure we get crews out there. But, you know, there is going to be some situations where folks need to be vigilant and, you know, uh, as we get into the darker hours, obviously wear brighter clothing, there are some street lights out, so um, obviously Halloween is on everybody's mind. And there are extra crews out there working to restore power. Our neighboring states were also hit badly by this storm, so they weren't able to send over any crews to help. But we are told that some crews from Virginia and other states are slated to arrive tomorrow. It's 60 crews, which amounts to about 300 people. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News. Steph, our thanks to you. We also spoke with Governor Gina Raimondo just this morning about the storm response. Now, she says she has been talking with National Grid all morning and told them she'll hold them accountable for getting the power back on. When I'm on the phone with Grid, I had two messages. Prioritize Rhode Island. I've got tens of thousands of Rhode Islanders who deserve power. Prioritize Rhode Island and communicate better. And as we just heard from Steph Machado, the governor says the fact that Massachusetts and Connecticut are also dealing with outages means National Grid can't bring in crews from our neighboring states, at least. She says hopefully another 35,000 customers should have their power back on tonight. Now, if you are among those that are still in the dark right now, we have a great resource for you right on our homepage at WPRI.com. Take a look. If you scroll down just a little bit, in fact, there's this one tab that says Power Outages Map and Database. Take a look at what happens when you click on that. You can see the entire map of our region. Each one of those dots in indicates uh, a section, neighborhoods that are, have uh, reported outages. If you then click on one of those, you can get an estimated timeline of when your power will be back on, and most importantly, if a crew has been assigned to your area of a power outage. And if you keep scrolling down, these are the numbers you'll always want to have handy. We have them posted on our website, who to call for National Grid customers, also Eversource, and the Pasco Utility District. All great resources, again, right on our website for you if you are still in the dark. And remember, you can count on Eyewitness News and the Pinpoint Weather Team for continuing Continuing coverage of the October storm of the latest on the cleanup and power restoration on air and online again at WPRI.com.